Toya Washington needs a new place to live. I'm looking for an apartment and I found the lady on Facebook. This is the ad you found? The marketplace listing showed a two bedroom in a newer complex on Glenwood Avenue in Avondale. She said for six something a month. 600. She sent a $350 deposit immediately. I looked on uh, Zillow.com and I found that it was legit, but she wasn't legit. The apartment really exists, but the $600 offer was bogus, a copycat listing. The same thing happened to Victoria Wells last year, who found a perfect home for rent on Facebook Marketplace in Covington. It was perfect. It was the most beautiful home that I had seen in a long time. She sent a $400 deposit through a money app. We went ahead and cash out him $400 to hold it. But it was the last she heard from him. He wasn't the real landlord. This is happening more and more these days because the scam keeps getting more sophisticated. Scammers find a home for sale and copy all the photos. So don't let this happen to you. The FTC says be suspicious of rental listings. If the landlord wants a deposit before you have met, you can't go inside the home. They ask for a deposit via Venmo, Zelle, or gift cards. We tried to track down Toyo's scammer, but her Facebook page and Toyo's money is gone. Like, it's not fair to people to scam anybody. Like, this is not, you know, right. Bottom line, even if that apartment or rental home really exists, that's no guarantee the landlord you're talking to is the real landlord. And that we don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery, CBO 9 News.